Hello guys, Danny here at Parte. So today we're going to do, per request, I had a request for a display of rolling uh, goppity goop. So um, this is an empty can, just so you can see what the can looks like. I don't actually can the mixture here. Uh, the crew does that over at our clean room. So, but this, this is actually the can, the first can that we ever put a label on. So I just keep it for nostalgia purposes. Uh, I've got some mix here that I mixed up of Goppity. And we just got a little uh, rolling pan here with an inset. And then I'm using a quarter inch nap roller. Uh, you can see it's actually kind of beat up. This is one that I pulled out of my... Uh, storage space back there because I don't generally roll anything. Um, I have rolled like I rolled that uh, this that all the material sitting on but that's been a while back so uh, I'm a sprayer by nature uh, but I realize and also you know I'm a sprayer by nature because you get a very clean finish in spraying but fully understand that you know to buy a spray setup even just a decent spray setup with the gun and the equipment your your compressor and all your attachments it's going to run you somewhere in the ballpark of about three hundred dollars for a decent set uh that's a decent compressor with a decent gun um and and that's three hundred dollars in plus you're going to have to learn how to use it if you've never used one before so totally understand and want to do a display here so i'm going to pour some mix in here and uh, we'll get started in just a second all right guys so i mixed this up real quick because i'd made this mixture probably about a week ago uh, with the intent of, of spraying my inflatable screen uh, so that's happening today i had actually had to just the way that we're going to make the screens we wanted to to factor all that out first and so I'll, later today I will be uh, coding the screen for a display hopefully before we leave for vacation we're going to be at Oak Island uh, next week and I will do some displays from there uh, but I'm hoping to be able to get one before we leave so long story short we've got some paint in here so let's get started now generally the way that I'm going to recommend that you would approach putting this onto your mixture is to just get your brush covered very well right but go with a thin layer so we're going to do just a thin layer here nothing fancy just going to try to put us a thin layer down first okay Cut our line in there. So I actually leave a little bit of it because afterwards we want to do a quick display of this. And so that way you can tell us exactly the same as what you're seeing out here. Now guys, I didn't prime this. This is just a single coat over the top of drywall. Now, to finish the coat, I'm just doing a very light roll, basically letting the weight of the roller basically do the work here. This is just to smooth it out so we get a nice clean finish. And there we go. So I'm going to pull that into the sun so we can let that dry. Let me move this stuff out of our way. I need to get that back out of the sun or... It'll dry up in the pan. So we're gonna take our piece of drywall and I'm just gonna set it out here in the sun. This is Vega, so you can tell the difference in your tones. So this is the Vega version. This is Goppity Sirius version. And we're gonna just let that dry for a second. Let me get my pan back out of the sun here before we dry up because I'm probably going to do another coat so we're just going to leave that there for a second and I'll be right back 
All right, guys, so we're back. Um, it's actually, it was dry in about 20 seconds. I've taken about 35 because I was running back in the house for something. But we're going to go ahead and move our tray back over here very quickly so we don't dry our paint out. I'm going to take this back over here. Set us up again. Sorry, guys. All right. And so we're going to do last coat next. Generally, two coats is plenty. I did see some spots there where the brush didn't, or the roller didn't quite get it into a couple of little small pits. So we want to make sure that we get that cleaned up. There we go. And generally, guys, just talking it through, I start with applying a little more pressure just to force some of the paint out. Um, but I keep it thin on the roller. The reason why is because this rolls a lot like a gloss. And if you go in with a lot of, a lot of material right off the bat, you can run into having roll lines that'll dry. And you don't want that. So, and then ever decreasing the pressure to where at the end your finish roll you're essentially just letting the weight of the roller roll out any of your texture there we go okay so we're going to put that back out in the sun we're going to let that dry and when that's dry we'll take it inside and we'll do a quick display so back here there we are and we'll let that dry and be right back all right guys so it's been right at 30 seconds this stuff dries really fast so here's a recommendation now i'm out here in the sun because i'm painting this outside um you noticed i painted it in the shady area i would just recommend because this stuff dries so fast it can be drying as you're trying to work it with the roller so i would always recommend that you either roll this inside or outside in a shady area without any direct sun on it um, and then, you know, if you want it to dry very quickly, you can put it out, uh, you know, into the sun like this and it'll dry very quickly. It's, it's completely dry to the touch. Now it has not fully cured. It will cure over the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and as it cures, it'll get just a, a, a slight shade darker. Um, not extremely darker, but it, it will get just a little bit darker as it cures. Um, the way that this is set up, that's the reason it dries very quickly is because it has a semi-transparent nature. So this is front and rear projection material. But you notice that just two coats, actually the first coat, pretty much covered a piece of dry drywall. So uh, it does what it does extremely, extremely well. It's been designed to roll extremely well, even in harsh environments, even with less than stellar. And I know that folks out there would tell you not to use... Uh, a foam roller, but a foam roller is really the best for application for this if you know how to use them. If not, then I would recommend that you stay with a quarter inch nap, uh, as I just did, and synthetic nap, and just do it in, in light coats. Two light coats, and it, it should come out very, very well. So let's take it inside and see what we have. Okay, guys, so I've got this panel now setting up. You can see where we drew our line here up against uh, the Daystar screen, uh, which is designed for UST, okay? It works with the long throw, but this is designed for UST. This is designed for long throw. So there's a separate uh, goppity that we have for ultra short throw. Um, but this is showing the brightness levels by comparison. And I'm using the Optima uh, HD143X from 13 and a half feet away you can see I've got the screen off on my UST so we'll do a quick display actually first I want to make sure that you see kind of where our settings are so let's go into image settings you can see I've got brightness down by 10 um, only reason I do that is because I actually like contrast darker images I don't like extremely bright uh, images whenever I sit in here without lights on because Quite frankly, it, it just bothers my eyes after a while. Um, but 
you can see even with the darkness turned down, I mean with the brightness turned down, excuse me, that it still looks really good. I've got the contrast set at about 2 uh, sharpness. I always like a lot of sharpness, but I've got my gamma set at 2.4. Sorry, 2.4. I'm busy looking at the screen. Um, so I've got gamma set at 2.4. We're in eco mode. Dynamic black is off. So uh, just basically straight up and down, except for I've got your uh, two bump two on the contrast and down to 10, uh, down 10 on the brightness. So essentially that's the only adjustments that have been made there. All right, and we'll do a quick display. <clears throat> so... Do something maybe a little brighter. So there's your brights and your whites le white levels. There we go. Get some movement. Okay. All right. And then we'll do a quick contrast video so you can see what that looks like. And just to highlight, because I know you can see some pattern in here, that is not roll pattern. That's just areas of it that have not cured. The top becomes surfacely dry. In other words, you touch it with your finger and you can tell that it's dry. Uh, but the underlying la layer has still not cured. That's the reason after 24 hours, the, the image very well balances itself out. This side down here, the Vegas side is, and I can switch that over just so you can see that. Gapity does a stupendous job. Let me find something else and maybe give you a better idea. So we'll do that. The one that was his name love so much. Is it this one? That one. Here we go. Let's see, just so you can see the clarity. And that's using, so let me drop it down. That was at 1440. So we're going to drop it down to 1080. So, guys, very easy application. Um, you know, you can use it immediately afterwards. It's going to look better the second day after it's fully cured because this, the, the, the whole image is going to be just more balanced. You're not going to have anything wet underneath the base of the, or the top coat of the screen. But amazing amazing and I'm you know usually don't toot our own horn but amazing articulation of color contrast brightness mid-tones hold um, just an excellent excellent black product all right so hopefully this helps you guys um, I hope that this meets the request that I had out there anyway. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see, I'm glad, more than happy to do it. Uh, real quick, I'm going to pause and then we'll show the, the Vega. All right, guys. So literally all I've done is just flip 
this so that you can see the Vega side of the panel. You can see it's, it's brighter, still holds contrast very well, but it is brighter. And that's with lights on, guys. I've got lights on in here. All right. So hopefully that answers questions for you guys. If you have any others, always open to answer any questions you may have. You guys reach out to us and let us know at parteav at, at gmail.com. Sorry. And uh, otherwise, you guys take care. Bye.